everyone, I'm Zeeshan Shah and welcome to Z Interactive YouTube channel, your own training institute. So in this lesson, we will learn how we can export Substance Designer package to Unreal Engine. So I have already taught you in our previous lessons I, where we have learned how we can export from Substance Designer uh, like a package, like, uh, like a package in, in lesson number um, 18, we have uh, learned that and was using the same technique, we will uh, export it and then we will bring it uh, to Unreal Engine. But before bringing to Unreal Engine, we have to make sure that we have the plugin, the Substance plugin for Unreal Engine. So how to get that? First, you can launch your uh, launcher for the Epic Games. Okay. And then you can go to the marketplace here. And after going to the marketplace, you can search for the uh, here substance. So I would just type here substance. And once you have it, I have the substance here. Okay, so you have to install it to the engine. I have already installed, but if you have not installed it, you just have to click it here and then it will uh, it will just uh, show you an option like to install it, you just click it. But I have already installed here. So what I'm going to do, I will launch my Unreal Engine here. And here I got my Unreal Engine. And then what I will do is that I will just go to the games here and next, okay, blank. No blank file next okay and then the name you can write here substance locker whatever name you want to give it it's a totally up to you so i will just give it substance for locker then create project i will click it here and here i got my uh project open so what i will do here is that i will go to the file new level and choose an empty level here now usually i create empty folders here but for this uh like let's make an empty folder so i will make an empty folder here and call this locker or something like that and then i will go inside this folder and here i will drop everything usually i make a separate folder for everything like separate for the mesh uh textures and all those things but for now i will keep it as it is so let's bring my folder here. So what I want is that not the mesh. This is the mesh that we um, expo like we exported in our last lesson, which was lesson number 19. But what we want is that we want the XBSR file and only a plane. This is a simple plane which I created in Maya, like a normal simple plane. So I will use this plane and I will use this SBSR file. So I will take the plane, drag and drop here first. Okay, and then I will uh, do some changes here, like a minor change. I will create uh, from here, create new material. I will choose do not create materials because I don't want to create any materials. And I will press import and everything is imported here. Here is my uh, plane. And now I will go back here. I will take the locker SPSR file and I will drag and drop here. Okay, so now what I want here is inside this locker uh, graph instance, I'll keep it as it is. Okay, now here uh, I have substance basics template. I will change this to substance displacement template. Okay, and then uh, if you want, you can change it to something else, whatever you want. Uh, but I will keep it as it is here. Okay, and then I will I will change it to substance displacement template, not as it is, I mean. And then I will, uh, or you can do, you can generate it, so you can make your own. Uh, so, but I will keep it as it is here. Like as, not sorry, not as it is, like substance displacement template. So I will ch uh, change it to that, and then I will import it, and everything will be imported here. Let's, uh, it will ask again, I don't know, it, it usually asks again, and then I will use the same, import, and now everything is, import it here now what i will do is that first of all i need my plane to be there so i will take my plan plane put it there here okay and then i will zoom it in and now you can see that it's in the air so i have to bring it down but this should be on the ground
and here I have it on the ground. So let's zoom in a little bit here. Now what I have here is this locker mat, okay, which I like, uh, which I got it. Now I'll double click it here. It will open it up on my screen. Now if you will notice here, there is no displacement going on. Because if you will go down, you will notice that the tessellation and displacement is off. So if I will turn on the tessellation and displacement, so there will be displacement here, which is quite low right now. So tessellation is also low. So let's pump it up to 500 and displacement maybe to 5. So now you can see it is pumping up now. Okay. Uh, so let's increase it a little bit more. Let's make it 10 just to see or maybe 50. Later on, we can uh, reduce it just to see how it's going on. So you can see this is what we have right now. Okay, so I can uh, save it and close it. And one more thing I can do here is that I can just right click here, okay, and create a material instance. So once I will do that, I will rename it to Matt Locker, something like that. And if I double click it here, you can see I have the, the instance here and I can do the editing here whatever I want okay if I want in the future like otherwise I'll keep it as it is now simple you drag and drop here on top of it but it is too high the one that I chose here okay so back there double click it here okay go down here and then we can reduce this to five or something now let's see. Going fine. Yep. A little bit, that's fine. Okay. So I'll keep this five here. Now it's up to you if you want the skylight or any other lights to be there so you can uh, apply it, any sort of visual effects so you can go in the light. Uh, I can add it, a rectangle light here. Or let's do one thing. Let's uh, like. To save time, I will go create new level and default. Okay, and don't save the current level. And I will have this. So I will take my plane, put it somewhere here, make it a little bit bigger. Okay. And then I will drag this on top. So here we go. So still we need some sort of a displacement. It's not there. So double click it here. And uh, displacement, the tessellation, I will change it to 500 because it got reset as we are in the new level now. And uh, here I will change it to 5. Okay, so you can see it is increasing. 5 is a little lesser. So like, let's increase it. Till I get the result I'm looking for, something like this, maybe 10. Okay, and I'll close this. Yes, yeah, looks good. Okay, so this is how you can get this inside your uh, Unreal Engine. So, they're pretty straightforward, pretty simple. And then, one more thing we can do we have this uh, locker graph instance. If I would double click it here, you will notice that we have this alternative color option so you can uh, use this option to turn it off and on so to get the color you're looking for okay and also we have this metal edgeware so you can increase it to get more edgeware going on so this is how you can change here okay and let's close this plus opacity is off so if you want it you can turn it on so but i will keep it off for now so just to show you around and one more thing here is that if you have this normal map, so you have to double click here in the normal map and you have to search for the green channel because we have to flip the green channel as we are in uh, Unreal Engine, we will be using the direct X. So here it have to be flipped. So I will just flip it here. Okay, now it's normal and save and close it. So this is what you need to do inside like uh, here so that uh, it will follow the Unreal Engine's uh, Direct this uh, like, like protocol. So I will close it here. So I'll put 
so it will it will give you much more better result here so that's how you can think, bring things here inside your subs uh, your unreal engine and pretty simple here so uh this is the end of our chapter four we will start with chapter five in the next uh like uh, like in, in the next class so chapter five what we will going to cover is that we will create a television panel and then in chapter from chapter five we will move to chapter six which will be uh, which will be our last chapter and in chapter uh, six we will create a, uh, like a substance designer material not for plane but for a like a mesh like a uh, complete mesh not just a plane okay so we will see how we can make the, uh, the that uh, mesh inside Maya or any other software, then bring that whole mesh inside Substance Designer, and how we can uh, convert it from a normal, simple, uh, like a mesh to a complete, uh, like Substance Designer mesh. Okay, so I hope you have learned something from this lesson, and thanks a lot everyone for joining this lesson i'm really thankful to you all for supporting me and i hope to receive your support continuously i have noticed that many of you are watching my videos but not have subscribed to my channel yet so please subscribe to my channel and also click the bell icon so you can receive all the notifications about the great new contents which i will be uploading soon if you have liked my video so please hit the like button and if you have any queries or questions then leave them in the comment section below and i will answer them as soon as possible and one request I have, and that is, I have noticed that some of the viewers do not watch my videos online, and instead, they download them. So please, if anyone is doing that, and if you find someone doing that, then please stop them, because this will never help me to get my hard work paid off, and it will demotivate me. So I don't want to stop uh, making tutorials for you all. Therefore, help me get new subscribers. And... Uh, I promise I will I will keep on uh, making uh, tutorials and uh, complete courses for you all. So I will take off now and take care guys till we meet in the next lesson. Stay safe, stay healthy and keep learning on Z Interactive, your own training institute. There is one important announcement I would like to make. I have started three great membership plans on my channel. I have introduced ZDI Friends membership plan which will give you exciting perks like loyalty badges and priority on comments. I have also introduced ZDI Early Bird Plan, which will give access to Z Interactive tutorials way early before they become public. So you will get all these lessons at once and you can binge watch. Last but not the least, I have introduced ZDI Premium Plan, which will give access to advanced professional tutorials, which you will find it very, very expensive outside. And I will be giving this and a very low amount of price. So visit my channel now and click on the join membership to get more information. I hope you become one of my members. If you want to learn how to create a highly detailed prop procedurally using Substance Designer, so this premium tutorial series is for you. Join my premium membership plan on YouTube and get access to all premium tutorials. In this tutorial series, I will demonstrate how to use Substance Designer along with simple geometry to create a realistic smashed up retro television.